We are live, baby. What is up? Welcome back to the Words from the Nerds podcast. I'm your one of your hosts, Aiden, and I'm joined by the other lovely co-hosts, Ben and Charlie. Before we get into what we're covering today, drop a like, drop a sub, drop a review if you're listening on audio, if you're listening at work, on your way to work, on your way to uh, a relative to go visit them, on the way to uh, a dinner with your family, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing. Stop what you're doing and drop a like. Pull over on drop the side a of the sub. road. Or just do it while you're driving. Uh, you know, it, <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Please don't. And uh, drop a review. You can text us. You can text us. You can text us if you are text on. Us while driving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can text us while you drive. That's the, that's the wonderful thing about living in 2024. You can text us while you drive. And... Um, on any audio platform that you are listening to, Apple, Google, Spotify, whatever it may be, whatever your pick of the litter is, uh, there should be a link right there. Click that link, type in your name when it takes you to your texting app, and say whatever you want, because we'll read it. We'll read it at the top of the podcast. Isn't that crazy? You, you can say, Charlie, I love the way your new background looks after you've moved into your new place, and you can hear him say that. You can hear you can hear him say what you just texted him. I think that's I think that's a wonderful thing. And if you want to utilize that beautiful technology, then that's all you have to do. With all of that being said, we are here to talk about episode three of Agatha. Agatha all along. And, sorry. Hey, sorry. Hey, Hey, uh, I, I, I think I think you I no, think you I get a I, I think really you I think you get a uh, I think you get a vine boom for that. Anyways, yeah. we uh, <laughs> we're back talking about Agatha episode three. You get to hear all of our thoughts, all of our wonderful thoughts on this episode for the next. Check the timestamp, whatever it is. So many minutes, so many hours and minutes. Starting us off. I want to hear from Ben. Benjamin, buddy, how are you? And uh, take us away. And I want a popcorn read. After you tell us your thoughts and how you've been today, we jump over to Charlie. So you want how I'm doing <laughs> and my thoughts? Yeah, because I, I, can, I can wait a little bit on how his day's been. Okay. And what, uh, we can wait to hear how his trip has been. It's all good. I want to hear your thoughts yeah. on Agatha first. That's the main thing. That's what I'm most focused on. I, I'm doing good. Uh, it's been a solid week so far. Got to see Joker 2, keeping up on these shows. And yeah, um, I'll, I'll just jump in because I'm doing fine. Nothing really to highlight. Uh, episode 3 of Agatha All Along. Um, just to kind of recap where I was, at least, after the, the first two introductory episodes, I, I was like okay with where we were at kind of introducing our characters i didn't feel like we had a good direction for our story i i thought that there were some missteps specifically with the teen character that they were overly relying on him just being a big mystery even though i think most of us have a pretty good idea of the character that he's playing and so i just feel like they were kind of fumbling any sort of like interesting setup with his character and where they were taking him. So I I was cautiously looking forward to see like, you know, where could they take this? And we even had a segment in our last episode of like, where do we want this show to go? So some of the things that we highlighted specifically for me, I was hoping they were going to dive deeper into the relationships between the witches uh, and also just like, better utilizing teen's character if he is who we think he is who we basically know he is um so episode three i think there were some good ideas in this episode and, and the idea of these trials to test our characters i think that can lend itself to some of the things that i'm wanting especially when you uh get to a point of them having like visions hallucinations that kind of thing i thought that was a really good opportunity that they could have explored some of the depth within the characters that i was looking for we get to know them a little better 
some of the backstory, some of even their purpose for why they decided to go on this journey, and even their connection with one another. Um, and I like the idea of that, but I, I don't necessarily think that it was used the best. It kind of it, it felt like a very minor part of the story. It almost went too fast, in my opinion, uh, those segments. And most of the other parts of the episode just like felt very unnecessary. It it just feels like we could have told this same story in a much more condensed way that allowed us to actually learn more about our characters. And so it, it, it feels kind of similar where it's like some good ideas with just not the best execution. Um, and I still feel the same way about Teen's character, e even when he's like introducing himself to the group. And, and I think one of them literally directly says something about him just being like a mystery. And, and that's still just where they're leaving him. Like they still are not doing anything with it whatsoever. He's just there. Um, and obviously uh, there was a point where he was conveniently used to help the story move forward. Uh, but we could talk about that a little bit later. Uh, but anyways, yeah, my biggest takeaway is it, it again feels like they have... They have those elements that they could lean into that could work really well to let us understand our characters more, the motives more, and even their connection to one another. But that's just sidelined and rushed and replaced with like just a lot of mediocre, semi entertaining. I mean, that, like, that's all it is to me, is it, it just feels like wasted potential. And I, I don't love what they're doing with the style of it and just feels like a missed opportunity. Well, speaking of journeys and uh, traveling down certain roads, Mr. Charles, how was your trip, man? <laughs> yeah, man. It, uh, it was a good trip. Oh, you know? please, please. Yeah, uh, please take your time. Went to Seattle, you know, walked around. Enjoyed some sights. Um, went to the aquarium. Last of Us Two reference. Um, ben doesn't get that. Wipe that stupid ass smile off. Your face, <laughs> right? you, didn't, you didn't understand it. I know you didn't. All right. Um, I like aquarium. Like, I don't have to get the reference, man. Um, it was good, you know. Uh, and I am doing good. Clearly, I'm very excited about the 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 background and having that all situated here. Um, that was, I've had, you guys haven't been able to see the past, I guess, month and a half, two months. I've had just had boxes in this corner right over here, just full of stuff that I couldn't put away yet because I didn't have anywhere to put them. But now we've got that all squared away and, uh, you know, didn't watch Agatha on my trip at all. I, uh, the episode came out. I was just, I decided to keep my distance. I was going to let it marinate. You know, and that way I like, if I enjoyed the episode, then I'd be that much closer to episode four, which dropped ten tonight as of recording this. Uh, I would, I, I figured I'd be excited, you know? And it sucks to say that that didn't happen. You know, <laughs> it sucks to say that that was not the case here. Uh, episode three was probably the worst of the three, uh, if you ask me personally. Uh, I think Ben hit the nail on the head a lot of with uh, a lot of what he said uh, in terms of the the characters and just where this episode took them. You know, I because that was I, I believe I said the, a similar thing in our first episode uh, on this show that like I, I'm interested I'm I'm fascinated by the characters because I very much enjoyed that sort of going around and collecting all the witches sort of thing. And I, I was excited to learn more about these characters. And I feel like they just like, and I get this is episode three, it's a nine episode show, there's a lot more to, to, to go with it, but this, and I also am someone who doesn't like to use the term filler episode too much, uh, but that's sort of what this felt like uh, in, in, in the sense that like, it moved the story along, but in such a, lateral like barely diagonal barely up the graph sort of way i i, I don't know it's a I, it's hard for me to talk about the specific story beats without talking about spoilers so uh, but I'll, I'll 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 hold off 
But the characters, man, like, aside from, I think each character got like, like been probably like two seconds, <laughs> two, it felt like two seconds of just like nothing, you know, in, in this, in this episode. And it just, it felt so wasted. I think the, what happened the most was probably with teen and Agatha and it's in such like a, what's the word? red herring sort of way i guess mm -hmm. uh and i'll t i'll touch on that uh, a little bit more when we get to spoilers but everything else was just so it felt like a disney channel show episode for real yeah and with just like the con the entire premise of the episode just felt so disney channel to me with with what happened to the characters what they had to do to get out of it and how they ended up the 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 obstacles along that way like which I love a good Disney Channel show. I grew up on Disney Channel. Was Waverly Place, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Sweet Life on Deck, Hannah Montana, you name it. I was there, bro. But this was, if this is, this is current day Disney. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> this was current day Disney. And so, I don't know. I, it's, obviously, I'm still locked in for what's to come. And I just hope that it's it's up from here. I hope tonight's episode is good. I haven't seen any reactions. I haven't been on Twitter tonight yet. I haven't seen what people have said about it. But, uh, you know, I hope that whenever I get around to watching this, which that's an, another key thing, like now that I'm home, I would have typically watched the episode right as it dropped. But I am so, like, checked out after this episode that, like, I'm I'm okay with putting it off for a little bit. So... I don't know, man. It's, uh, I, I don't want to jump back to the who asked for this sort of argument because, I mean, the numbers on this show, I don't know if we wanted to talk about that. I don't know if you guys have seen the reports for the numbers of viewers for this show. I think it was like 9.3 million viewers. I think yeah. it, was, it was more than, it was more than Miss Marvel. I think it was more than She Hulk. Um, I want to say more than moon knight as well um moon knight the first, is the one that i think surprises me moon knight yeah yeah i think uh I, I i can't remember if it was in the first i because they always move the goalposts when they're talking about these numbers in fairness like they did the same thing with the penguin episode one um they said like within the first four days of the episode and then within the first two days of Episode two, the viewership wasn't that high, which also that's, that has to do with the release schedule of Penguin, which was really weird. But um, I think Agatha was somewhere along that same line of like the within the first four days of the first two episodes dropping um, 9.3 million viewers or something like that. So, uh, you know, again, I'm not one to say that the, the I don't want to jump back to the who asked for this argument, but like you're just not you're not showing me why this show was so important right now like there's nothing about this episode that furthered my interest but i don't want to keep yapping so aiden what do you got brother i uh episode four looks like it's getting i haven't seen anything negative about episode four of agatha uh, a lot of people are are talking about i saw one tweet saying add it to the hall of episode fours of marvel disney plus shows which is a good thing is a good thing i think or is it episode three i'm thinking yes. about well no no you're i mean loki loki had some good episode four. it's also so hard to judge because some of these shows are six episodes long so you're already getting into like anyways i would say like moon nights was was episode five like that was the good one but well regardless I mean, all of them were good but <laughs> yeah. well, it, it is getting good crazy. it is getting good reviews wow. on twitter at least um i have to disagree with both of you i thought this was the bet just kidding this shit was mid. Like this shit was mid <laughs> yeah, uh it, it, it just like i mean i everything y'all said everything y'all said i mean just nothing happens essentially until you get to the very end and then they're like oh surprise this did matter a little bit because now they're they passed the first test. They fa they passed the first stage. And I'm just like, what was the past 30 minutes? Like, uh, 
is there no way that we could have had this condensed down or maybe had maybe had seen the next step of the road in um in this episode see the first two steps of the road i don't know i don't know and i don't know what makes them think that this needs its own episode and it's again just more of the where do we go from here why was this made like what like it's just more of those questions that keep running through my mind as i'm watching the show and uh yeah i mean there's some i i think the concept of it was was cool i i i could praise that i i like that the whole uh them scrambling around to find a cure because this potion is making them hallucinate some of the things that they fear the most. I thought that was cool. Um, I like the conversation between Agatha and uh, I forget her name, but that, that split little conversation that she has with the witch about like, I hate, I've always hated you, but I left you alone because I knew that you could do good or whatever. There's some good moments in there, and, and there's some things like that that I could appreciate. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just agree with, with everything y'all said, especially Charlie. I feel like they tried to go a little bit into, like, the scary, like, haunted house, like, turn the corner and something's there, and it's it just didn't work. It didn't work, you know? I, 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 which I can give you props. I mean, it is the Halloween season, and, and I do see what you're trying to go for, and I respect what you're trying to go for, but it's just not working. And it kind of feels just like a a, a tug-of-war between, like, is this supposed to be campy and, like, you know, kind of silly, goofy, like, oh, this is a witch? Or are you, like, actually trying to play on... Uh, a, a hardcore fear and like try to get a jump scare out like i don't know it's just it always just leaves me with a weird feeling um yeah it just felt like a marvel disney plus show which is kind of not what i'm looking for at this point uh, structure wise uh writing wise but again there were some things i could appreciate like that conversation with her and the teases I guess with teen, but just goes back to what Ben's issues are with him where it's like, figure out what you're going to do with him. Um, and if you're going to go down this path, good luck. And I hope you can make it work. And I hope you can make me like this decision. Um, by the time we get towards the end of the show, but overall, yeah, I just, I felt like it was a big, um, nothing burger of an episode besides the end, which it's like, you know, one, do I even believe that that happened and is going to stick by the end of that, by the time we get to the next episode and two, like if it does oh well <laughs> at this point, I don't know. This kind of just, I don't know. This episode kind of just made me uh, a little upset because it did feel like it's just back to form for, uh, a marvel disney plus show which is not what we need at the moment in my opinion just still struggling to 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 figure out why why we're here <laughs> why we're here at this moment and it start i'm kind of starting to get scared that it it's not because of anything this the show is trying to which again we're only three episodes in i get it we're only three episodes in um but i am kind of starting to get nervous if we stay on this path that this isn't this wasn't held up because of what we're going to see happen in the show it's only just out because of maybe something outside of a tv show and more of like a business or money wise that's my biggest fear it's an agatha show at its core so give it a good reason to you know, give us a good reason to um, tune in every week because, if we, uh, like I said, if we weren't doing the podcast, I wouldn't be tuning in every week. Like, I truly, I wouldn't. Uh, before before the show came out, I truly wouldn't have. 
I just want to make a, a quick note for all of our listeners. He literally was watching the episode on his phone <laughs> as we as we got in the call to record this episode. So I think he's telling the truth when the, when, when he yeah. says that. So I I don't know. Um, just give me a good reason is is really all I want, and uh, you know, just I don't know. Make this matter. Yeah. Yeah. Um. To dive into spoilers now, uh, for those of you who uh, care and haven't watched the episode and want to. So uh, thank you so much for listening up to this point. But let's get into it. Um, yeah, the uh, that was probably my biggest problem with the episode was was the characters and how they were not explored what's half assedly explored like the whole the only exploration of the characters came with the hallucinations that they each individually received and if anything it just opens more mystery and more dumb questions that i that it that don't make me more curious i, I guess i that sounds antithetical i i know but the questions that it's making me ask just piss me off more than they actually intrigue me. And so in that way, it, it just seemed like this was such a, oh, we need to include this for the characters to some degree, but not actually explore it in any meaningful way. And I, and I genuinely hope that that comes later as, as, as we get further into the show, I mean, nine episodes, WandaVision and nine episodes, episode eight of WandaVision, fantastic. I hope that we have something like that here. But I also don't want, I, I don't want to keep having to say, oh, I hope we get this later on. I hope this comes, I hope this comes better. I hope it's good later when it could be good now. With that also being said, uh, yeah. I wanted to touch on a little bit before um, I hand it off to back to one of you guys. The uh, red herring I mentioned with Teen's character, there, as Ben mentioned, like we all pretty much know who this character is, um, and they're trying their hardest. It seems like in this episode to make us not think that, <laughs> and by with the with the mention of. Agatha's son and how she traded him for, uh, or did they, did they say son or kid? Like, I thought it they just child. said child. Child, child, okay. Yeah. Um, so Agatha's child traded them for uh, the Darkhold. And then they, they close in on Teen and how, like, shocking that is to him and how, like, oh, that Agatha's pretty messed up for that, yeah. And then Agatha's vision is of a cradle that does not have a child in it, but has the dark hold in it instead. And it's, uh, I don't, oh, also we forgot to, I, I should mention a uh, little Mephisto name drop in this yeah. episode, which made a bunch of people go crazy uh, last week. I got mo a large, most of this episode spoiled for me, which I don't care because it was, a. but in, in on my trip, just scrolling Twitter, I got like Mrs. Hart, spoiled for me i got mephisto spoiled for me um and then all of the uh the, the how they're poisoned and whatnot but anyway uh that just seemed like it it harkens back to again uh teen's character and their over reliance on this on his on this mystery for him because he has no idea no ideology isn't the right word he has no character outside of the mystery <laughs> like he, his his entire existence is just mystery and they delved into it a little bit more with i i believe they talked about his enchantment on his on his on his mouth or whatever and why he can't say his name uh but again that's still just shopping more into the mystery and how that's the only it seems like that's the only thing that matters about this character and like i don't know that's so surface level so dry like i don't know man i i i'm very much in the same camp like i i want to enjoy this character more especially after i mean we talked about it last week like he had some he had some pretty good moments in episode one and two i think for me 
no, no, episode one. I was about to say, I think for me, episode two, but episode one, like when he's roasting Agatha and everything, like he has like some, he could be some really great comedic relief at times. And then they're mostly just relegating him to, is he Wanda's son? Is he Agatha's son? Like, come on, bro. Come on, dog. We know. <laughs> he kind of just dropped a huge spoiler. <laughs> Why, why, oh, yeah. why would you bring Wanda I mean, up at all? The hypotheticals, you know. Okay, I, I'll cut His my. His mouth has a literal W on it. That's, That's true. I did notice that oh. actually. Yeah, I did notice that. Yeah. Well, oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's I just mean, a possibility, Aiden. Yeah, if anything, like... <laughs> I can cut that part out if you want. I can cut my reaction to that out if you want. <laughs> I just, I lost I mean, it a bit. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. Like it's, I mean, it's a fair... Like, you, you bring up a fair point. I, like, maybe I probably shouldn't have said it, but, like... What, like, as a as a viewer... No, I can't hey, even I bring mean, up that perspective. Well, because, like, I, I have a very biased and, and, and skewed perspective on it because I know so much about the source material or whatever because like i'm trying to think of like if i just watched wandavision and then i came into this like i'm not going to think that that's wanda's kid he doesn't look anything like the child did yeah. you know and they haven't i guess teased that at all so that's probably a fair point i probably shouldn't, shouldn't <laughs> i don't care i mean we can do whatever i don't know if, if you want me to cut <laughs> that out. hey man i don't know it depends on if you care if our viewers need that spoiled for them or not but i mean i don't know maybe it, i'm it, wrong it opens it opens up a like a conversation if if we do go True. Maybe it'll piss people off and they'll comment and get more viewers. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll get more. Yeah, let's go that. Way. Let's go that way. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much. And like the okay, then also the the Disney Channel episode part of it for me. Just the whole plot of the episode. Oh no, we got poisoned. We need to find a way to get to fix yeah. this fast. And then they they make some stupid mistakes along the way. The potion master chick, like, I don't know, I've never done this before. I don't know what to do. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, you need the blood of the unpoisoned or whatever the hell it was. Um, and it's just like yeah. I'm watching them mix, dude. <laughs> having the sink light up with like blue and pink colors. I was like, dude, what if I'm literally watching an episode of Wizards of Waverly Place it's, right now? It's just so it's just odd crazy. because it's like, are you? Is that what you're going for? Do you? Uh, like is do you understand that you're being campy right now and like is this your intention are you trying to be a hocus pocus wizards of waverly place halloween special like is this what you're going for if it is and you are going for the campiness and you understand what you're doing then okay cool like fine i i can appreciate that a little bit still not the biggest fan but like whatever but like if you're like actually trying to be so serious with these jump scare horror elements or like this potion and this magical potion that like then it's i don't know it's like am i what am i doing watching this <laughs> like what am i doing watching this like i don't know it, it, i i don't feel like the target audience and so yeah the it just That's that a great point whole it, actually don't that, feel like the target audience yeah that whole horror sequence was just it was rough yeah yep. i got to say uh you guys have both i think said like oh we're only three episodes in and like i don't know i feel like three episodes in and a nine episode show we can still say this is a third of what we're getting <laughs> and like i think regardless of what you can do in in six more 25 to 30 minute episodes like this is already it, it doesn't change these three episodes from being the fumble that they were like this setup is still really bad even if they can pull anything interesting as the series continues so i don't know i kind of already look at it as like three episodes like this is a good indication of of where things are at and where things are headed and yeah I, um just to kind of touch on a couple of things now that we're talking spoilers Teen's other use in this episode was the fact that he wasn't poisoned and, you know, kind of convenient that he just happened to be along the journey because he wasn't supposed to be. He basically begged to be. Um, so convenient for them because, like, 
how are any other witches that travel the road supposed to what are they just going to bring blood with them like how are they supposed to continue you know uh or is one of them well it it can't even make sense that one of them is selfish because agatha tried not to drink it yeah she tried to they all had to so just weird little thing that i noticed there um and then the other spoilery thing just with um sharon mrs hart at the very end claimed to be killed uh, by the poison, uh, apparently. Uh, which, like, again, is that just because she drank more than the others did? Because she really was? Um, or is it because she, of the timing, like, she drank first or whatever? But I think if they... I'm not convinced that she's dead at all. And I think if they did go the route of killing her off, then it's like... What was the point of having Agatha, like, specifically put emphasis on her relationship that she used to have with Mrs. Hart? Like, Agatha, very clearly, they they were really specific about how they introduced Mrs. Hart and the relationship that Agatha had with her. And there was a lot of questions there. And so, I just think if they killed her off, like, what was the point of all of that? And so I'm not really convinced that, that they would go that route. And if they didn't kill her off and they're just going to bring her back next episode, then, like, what are the stakes here? Like, what are, <laughs> I don't even understand. There's just no point. Like, why even do it in the first place just to have this cliffhanger ending where they shut her eyes and then, you know, it cuts to credits? Like, is that the reason? Just to have something to be like, oh, my gosh, did they just kill her off? And then to reverse that? Uh, because there's nothing else going on, so, like, they're just pulling at strings at this point. It's really, that's what it feels like. It really does feel like that. Uh, and so it, it is, it is rather upsetting. Cause like I, I already wasn't really sold on the first couple of episodes as a setup, but then to actually like start to get into it, that like even, even more so I'm, I'm less on board with it. Um, now that we're like actually hopping into the journey. Cause I think I said that before that like, Okay, we set up. Now we're getting into it, so we'll see. Now that we're into it, we are seeing, and it's not its not looking good. Yeah, I'm real interested to see how episode four shakes out, what they do and where they go with, uh, with it. I saw one still of the episode and what to expect in the episode. I think it looks cool. It looks different than what we've gotten um, in the past two episodes. Um not maybe not so much the first episode but anyways uh it it does look interesting something that they're exploring something that they're doing and so i'm excited to see how things shake out plot wise obviously and and story wise where do you take it from here now that you're setting up your middle act your your second act i guess in a nine episode show um and how far we progress it would be a little bit worrisome if it just continues like episode three for the next two episodes and then uh six and seven they kick it up penultimates all right and then finale is just typical finale because besides wandavision episode but besides wandavision's penultimate i've noticed that the marvel penultimate episodes just don't really hit that well so Wait, or or am I take that back? Take that back. Take that back. Or am I thinking the one praise I give Moon Knight, brother? It's the one praise I give Moon Knight. I mean, maybe I know for sure the boys' penultimate episodes, um, at least for season three, the season three penultimate episode, it just wasn't great. Four, bro. (laughs) Ah, we'll see. Um, anyways, regardless, (laughs) um. These next couple of episodes, how you treat your act to is is going to be important to what we th- see the rest of the season and what we'll see and how they how they'll stick the landing because if it's anything like this episode i will be worried but regardless i'm excited to check it out i'm excited to see where they go with um with tonight's episode because uh i think it'll be a nice in- indication of uh how this will shape out and hopefully it's in a good way Apologies to our viewers if you can hear what sounds like a drum banging. I don't know. My upstairs neighbors are 
getting wild, it sounds like. I don't know what they're doing. But, uh, yeah, no, what Ben mentioned, I mean, that's because that's what I also said. I said, like, I hate to keep, like, saying and giving the show the benefit of the doubt, like, when it can be good the entire time. When we look at something like Penguin, not to talk about episode two, because I have seen that episode, but I don't want to give my thoughts until we do that episode. But to watch episode one, episode one's good, man. Episode yeah. one is good. And, you know, it to, to, to have that from the very beginning. And like I said last week, I didn't like episode one of Agatha as much as I liked episode two. Um, I thought episode two was much better. And episode one was very just like... I don't think it was bad. It was just so mediocre. I'm tired of using mid. Um, and then to come to the third one and to have it be even worse, you know, like that's like a, and that's also a very good point. Like this is this is a third of the show, you know, and and for us to be where we are now with the characters, the story, the plot, like it, this is such like a I I guess in the sense that. This was the first trial of the of the witch's road. So technically it progressed the story in that sense. How many trials are there though? They haven't said. They haven't said like I don't know how, I don't know if this is the first of 20, the first of x amount of challenges, you know? So it's all like tiresome, I think is the way to put it so far. Cuz it's just more of Agatha being Agatha, the gang not liking Agatha for that reason, having to fight with her for specific stupid things like drinking the wine. And like like Ben mentioned, like that's such a what what a, if if everyone was the because the only reason teen wasn't allowed to drink is they said because he's underage. And so that's why they just didn't let him drink. And so, like, yeah, like that's such a good point. How how are the other witches supposed to survive that? They, they, if they maybe, I guess, a more experienced potion witch can make that potion without the blood, but I, I don't buy that because that seems like a pretty important ingredient in that specific uh, antidote. But anyway, I mean, also that's a good point with Mrs. Hart. I I don't necessarily think that like her character needs to continue after this. Uh, it seemed like such a, like, half-assed sort of sad ending as well. Because, like, Mrs. Hart, sure, she was in WandaVision for a little bit, and she's been in here for a little bit. And she's just, she's not a character I care about. Like, she's just there. And, like, oh, you know, yep, Mrs. Hart died. That sucks. And then if you bring her back, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, she's she's back, I guess. But not even cool. Like, cool's not even the right way to put it. It's just like a... Let's continue. Okay. Glad that's over with. Glad we're done spending time on that. Let's keep moving and let, let's get to something interesting. Uh, yeah, man. It's the same way with the way she was uh, brought in, too. Like, she was just basically plucked off the street because they the street, needed... Yeah. yeah. And so it's just, like, everything about her character and how she's gotten here now just feels kind of... It feels kind of how this episode felt. We just need to fill this in. And so. Yeah. I feel maybe, like I'm grasping at straws, man. Yeah. <laughs> just like this episode probably was. Like, it's like. That's what I was going to say. Maybe Mrs. Hart's death hopefully is a. Uh, maybe she can be a metaphor for this episode. Maybe this episode dies with her. And these next. These next four. Four. No. Six episodes. Sorry. These next six episodes can be onward and we got past our our filler spot and uh i will say i'm excited to see at the end of the season with the penultimate and the finale being released at one time i think that'll oh be really i didn't know they were doing Hopefully. that yeah hmm. yeah <sighs> i i did want to mention um when they finally complete the trial which, okay, first of all, the trial, just, I, I haven't even thought about this, so this is just off the cuff, okay? The trial is literally 
We all poison ourselves, and then we all make an antidote and drink it. That's literally the trial. Which, like, when you think about it in the most, like, simplest fashion, is kind of dumb. Like, oh, we're all going to drink the poison and then drink the antidote. Kind of stupid. But what I was actually about to say uh, before I, like, actually thought about that was when they actually when they complete the trial and the like oven opens up for them to escape i literally got like escape room vibes i don't know yeah, if you guys yeah, have yeah, seen yeah, yeah. either of those movies but it's literally like you complete a task and like oh some secret hidden door that you didn't know was a door opens for you to continue and it was just like literally just crawling through the oven and i i don't know what it was but like I get that, you know, the whole thing is fantastical and and magic and witchcraft and whatnot. But I don't it, it I guess like Disney Channel is is the way, like modern <laughs> Disney Channel esque is the way to put it to why it just like it seemed stupid. Like, oh, the house we're underwater all of the sudden. Oh, we're gonna crawl through the stove and then we exit out of a slide. It's like, I don't, just when you start to say these things out loud, they just sound so dumb. And I think it's because a lot of, a lot of it is, a lot of it is just dumb. So I, yeah, I feel like the more that I think about this, (laughs) the more that I dislike it. It just keeps, it keeps building. Yeah. I don't know. Well, also, these are grown ass women, and they're like screaming, sliding, sliding down a slide. <laughs> it was like that's such a. I mean, I, that's a cinema sins thing. Let me clarify. That's cinema, cinema sins, sins corner. <laughs> cinema sins. It corner. does not matter. But I was just, I was so annoyed by the time the last person went down, and they were all just screaming, "It's a slide! It's a slide! It, it, mean, you're not falling." One of them took a like a nice little somersault. I was kind of tumbling down a little bit. <laughs> that's probably fair i guess yeah i mean maybe the quicker we get on to go watch episode four the quicker we can get this out of the way because this was a very odd episode um hopefully the last of its kind because i do want to still keep giving this show a chance i want to continue to bite my tongue and not get too far ahead of myself but our Miss Marvel show, uh, our Miss Marvel episodes are up for y'all to go listen to, and uh, that's the last thing I want this to be is me just shame, like hopelessly being like, well, maybe this that next episode is gonna be great. Well, maybe this, maybe they'll get away from this, and the villains will actually end up being good, or this, and th- and then it just embarrasses you. So I hope that's not the situation here. I will continue to bite my tongue and just break it down episode by episode. And uh, not try not to get too far ahead of myself. But I really hope that uh, this starts to kind of shape out better. And hopefully next week we can come back with a more positive look on things. But as for me, I am bowing out. And that's all I had to say on Agatha Episode 3. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't have much else to add. Like, this is. Uh, I don't even think a, I'm. This... I don't even think I'm holding out as much hope as you guys. Like, I kind of. I'm trying. I'm not man. expecting much. I'm trying. I really wish I could see what a lot of people on Twitter see with this show. Um, it might just be I... for their taste. It might just be like their taste. Like, it might just be the the actual like cult following of hocus pocus esque movies and and stuff like, like that that's the, i feel like for a lot of them last week this episode was the highlight for them and what made the entire episode was just hearing mephisto like i genuinely i think that like that made this a great episode for them and which fine if that's what works for you i don't want to yuck your yum but man but yuck. <laughs> Brave New World, please come soon. I just want you. <laughs> Brave New World, please Valentine's come save us. Day, brother. Valentine's Day. Oh. That and that and Daredevil. 
Come save us, man. Come save us. Well, that's about and, all I have. And Last of Us. Last of Us Season 2. Bro, can uh, can you just imagine coming and sitting down and instead of covering Agatha, we're covering The Last of Us Season 2. Oh, my sweet. Bro, well, stop. stop. Oh, Please, my stop sweet. Saying, I can't wait. Right why are you, why you bring this up right now, bro? It's going to be delightful. Upset me. Until then. We oh, I cannot here. wait for Ben to watch this. Oh, I cannot <laughs> wait, Benji. I cannot wait. This is gonna be ah, oh, dude. This is gonna be so good. This is gonna be so good. Twenty twenty five. Until then, we have Agatha and Penguin that we will be covering every Thursday and Sunday, respectfully. Thursdays Agatha, Sundays Penguin. So see us here Sunday at uh, one p.m. Central for the newest episode of the Penguin. And I believe that is all I had to say on Agatha. If anyone else wants to chime in, you have five seconds to do so. Five, four, three, two, one. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Adios. Sayonara. (laughs)